Matt joins us today, and let me begin with this. You know, this is absolutely a phenomenon, uh, and I'm a skeptic. I'm a person who says, has always said that, man, that's not real. And I'm sure that you come into contact with a lot. What do you say to the person that just does not believe that this is real? Well, first of all, I think everybody's a skeptic. I think they walk into events or to a psychic medium being skeptical, especially somebody who's never had an experience before. I've never had a reading from a psychic medium. And one of the things is that I tell people, come to my events. I love the skeptical ones. And more importantly, when I'm doing a group reading or a live event, it's always amazing that it's usually the skeptics who get read or who get a message. And it can be life-changing for them. Having an experience and connecting with somebody who had passed on, one of their relatives or close friends or whoever it may be, it's incredible to see how this person walks in and they're like, is this real? And then next thing you know, we're sitting there you know, crying as they're connecting with their mother or their father or their sister or whoever it is that had passed on. And we are back with renowned psychic medium, Matt Frazier. Thanks for sticking around with us a little bit. Thank you. It's great to be here. All right. So let this part begin. I know we're both like all morning. We've just nervous. been like a little so, nervous. Very vulnerable. That's what okay. it is. I was trying to put my finger on what was making me so nervous. It was, it's being vulnerable. I think that's what it is. So and, you start with him and I will, I'll just be over here. Okay. Ready. So that what happens is when, you, when I first walk into a room, being a medium, I'm always hearing the departed. It's just a part of who I am. So when I actually walked into the room, I actually heard of a young male who had departed. So do you connect with that? Yes. And you passed in tragedy here in the physical world. Yes. And I felt as though it was like a brother to you, but, you, but he, he showed me friendship. So the two of you are close friends here Very in the Very close. Yeah, he moved with me. Okay, wait a minute. Don't tell me anything. Right. Know that one of the things that he's explaining, because he just said to me that he wanted to be able to reach you. He tells me about the fact that you were so close, but there was distance between the two of you, that you lost touch with one another. Yeah. And then next thing you know, you had found out that the two of you went on very different paths within life. Mm. Because he said to me that he did things that he was not proud of, here in this world. Mm. And he talks about the way that you had found out the news unexpectedly about his passing. Yeah. And he says that he's sorry for the way that you had gone and that you had found out. He says that you still wish or think about that you wish that you that you'd have known some of the things that he was going through because he tells me about the way that he was having some issues with family and within his own life. Hmm. And he tells me about the fact that he was going to, I keep hearing him living with different people or going to live with others. Do you understand that? Yes. He says, I could not find my way within life. He says, and you still wonder if you would have called him or if you would have reached out to him or had communication with him if things would have been different. He says that one of the things is that he wanted to come through and say to you today was about the fact that you did not change or, or could not have changed anything that went on within his life. Oh. He says that he wants to take responsibility for that. He tells me about the fact that, and I'm sorry to bring up some personal things, but he tells me that there was some drugs and alcohol that was involved. Do you understand that? Yeah. And he says to me that he was not in his right mind many of the times of what was going on. He talks, actually tells me there was a little bit of relationship issues or some relationship problems that he was going through. Yeah. He says, my life was a mess. He says, and I want to let you know that I always knew that you were there. He says, and I always knew, he says, that I could reach out to you or connect it. He says, but I had too much pride. He says, I didn't want you to have to worry about me. He says, and more importantly, he, he tells me that you found out afterwards that he would check up on you or look through some of the things that you were doing and how well that you were doing. Because he says to me, even on the other side, he's like a guardian angel that's there and watching over you. Oh, that's good. That's good. And I want to step forward with you as well, because I just felt, and your grandmother departed mm -hmm. and your dad passed as well. Yes. So no, it's their way of acknowledging that they're on the other side. Because I felt like, like you know, your dad trying to come through, but I felt there was a grandmother there almost like pushing him away because she's very <laughs> high energy as I'm connecting with her. And she shows me about the fact that... Um, when I'm connecting, she was almost like a homemaker here in the physical world because she's showing me like running around and like cleaning everything as I'm <laughs> connecting. Do you understand about her personality? Like she was up very early in the morning. She spent time like I feel like she's rearranging heaven as I'm like I'm talking to her, like yes. moving everything around. Yes. She tells me that when she was passing, there was multiple issues that were going on within her body. Right. Because she tells, tells me about the way that I feel it right in my chest as I'm connecting with her. She also tells me that one of the things that she wants you to know is about the whole family's on the other side and watching over you. She talks about a move. Did you just move? Perfect. So now it's her way of just congratulating you on the new house or the new place of living and letting you know that she's there. She's pushing your dad forward to speak as well because your dad wants you to let you know about how much that he loves you and more importantly about the way that you talk to him all the time. He tells me about the car conversations where you're talking to him in the car either when you're on your work or on the way to work and do you connect with him with like pennies, dimes, nickels, quarters? Because he just said to me, he says, that's not fine with one but another. It is, it is. Cool. We play cards with, like, quarters and... Oh, you did. And did you find them? Or did you find them after your dad's passing and say this was him? Yes, yeah. Perfect. Because <laughs> yeah. he says to me that he wants you to know that. So know when you got those different things that that wasn't coincidence. That's your dad's way of letting you know that he was with you right at that exact moment. He says, I know about the way. He says that you stepped forward to try to keep the family together after my passing. 
He says, and more importantly, he says about the way he says that you were there, he says, holding everybody close. He says, and I want to thank you for that. He says, because I never got to express that to you. Wow. He says, and I want to let you know, he says, about how much that I appreciated that. He says, because I knew when I left this world, he says, that you would take care of everything. He wow. says, because you were always there taking care of everyone else that was around us. Thank you so much, man. Let me tell well. you this, man. I'm a believer. Now, that is, this is so phenomenal, and what a great experience to just experience. I'm shaking right now because it's kind of surreal and i want to thank you man for giving me and giving stephanie thank you that, so that much you have no felt. idea how much that meant thank you're very you. welcome thank you. i really thank appreciate you. that absolutely right, we'll, we'll be back we'll in just a back. moment wow we are still <laughs> just wow. in shock from the matt frazier that was so like unbelievable i feel, I feel like i'm still like shaking wow there, very powerful there are no words for what for what I just experienced. I know. Sorry. Not just with my story, but with your story, all of the personal things that you shared about your father, for him to know that was just uh, so wow, impressive. Wow, wow, wow. Well, thank you guys so much for watching today.